What's up guys, I'm doing another Black Ops 3 video, and this time we're going to be talking about the new highest level of Black Ops 3. So recently Treyarch put out a update that uh, added in more levels after you reach Master Prestige. So um, when you reach Master Prestige, you are essentially level 55, but now you are able to rank up further than that. So you are able to rank up to level 1000. To get from level 56 to 57, you'll need 55,000 XP. Well, we don't know, you know, how it scales from there between levels, but uh, if you reach level 100, you get the first prestige icon from either World at War, Black Ops 1, or Black Ops 2. So the three multiplayer Treyarch games, um, recent multiplayer Treyarch games. If you reach level 200, you get the second prestige. Goes all the way up to uh, level 1,000, which you get the 10th prestige icon from World at War, Black Ops 1, and Black Ops 2. And then uh, you will also get the 11th through 15th prestige icons from Black Ops 1, and you will also get the prestige master icon from Black Ops 2. So the new highest level is 1,000, and this is just absolutely crazy. Um, it shows, you know, what uh, Treyarch thinks about Infinity Ward and uh, Sledgehammer's next titles, because, you know, if they're putting out a thousand levels, uh, then, you know, they're expecting, you know, Infinity Ward not to have anything good, so most people will want to stay. Um, I don't know how I feel about this, because personally, I, uh, I prestige once and reset my stats, and I'm just currently sitting at, like, level four. I haven't played the game in, like, a month, because um, I'm kind of burnt out on Call of Duty right now. I don't know if I'll ever get to level a thousand. Um, I'm definitely gonna try, you know, really hard during the summer to, you know, get at least like 600 or so levels. But it kind of raises the question, like, how much XP is in between? Because if it like scales, so from level 56 to 57 is 55,000 XP, and if let's even say it goes up like 10,000 XP every time, when you get to like level 900, you're gonna be like rocking like a million XP in between prestiges or in between levels so it's essentially like you're going to be prestigious and whatnot so we don't know how it's going to scale but i assume once you get to level a thousand most people like i don't know why anybody would try and do that i mean unless you like really wanted to get to that level but i think it's just absolutely crazy because i think by the time you reach like level 400 or 500 you're going to have done every single thing in the game you're going to have every specialist gold every weapon have dark matter on it every challenge done you know every weapon has all the camos and all the attachments and all the challenges everything in the game done by the time you even reach like halfway so you'd just be grinding it out from there like not doing not even doing challenges or anything or camos you're just going to be basically grinding after that but hey for those people who want to do that sure um i don't know if i'm going to do that black ops 2 is the last game that i really try to get everything in uh, I don't know if I'm going to try it in this game. I might. Um, I want to like this game, but some of the recent updates and stuff that have come out have made me kind of eh, and just kind of um, backtracked for this game. I'm really going to want to try and hop back onto it, and I honestly, this is just crazy. Uh, it'll probably take people so long to be able to get to uh, rank 1,000. Like, seriously, like everybody who's been commenting about this is just saying, like, you must have absolutely no life if you get to rank 1,000. Um, I mean, I assume, like, unless you're, like, streaming 24 hours a day or something, it's going to take you a while to do it. And, yeah, there you guys go. Tell me what you think of this in the comments down below. It's nice to see that we have the option, but still, that's just absolutely crazy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Black Ops 3 video.